Ooh, hello, hello, there we go, now we're working. We're operating. Okay, sorry about the delay there, folks. Uh, I had a minor emergency in, uh, that the uh, power alarm was going off. Uh, it was uh, going off for our next one neighbours first, and then decided, hey, you know what, our building wants to be uh, under a fire evacuation as well. Uh, no idea why, what happened, um, but emergency over, fire engine is left, we can go back into our building and we're going to get onto the stream. Uh, so you might have got an alert, a notification that I was streaming, I was, I jumped in, but then, uh, yeah, I had to go. Uh, where are now? Uh, where you'll find us, we are in what is going to be the nuclear build. Uh, I just finished plumping it down, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I had to leave straight away, so I, uh, I stood <laughs> my ground, I actually risked it, I, uh, I left my game running while I was outside, and, um, I, uh, I hoped that I wouldn't get attacked by biters, and thankfully I didn't, um, so yeah, nuclear build's going in over here, I'm gonna quickly zip back to the base once I get all my bars back on me because I am running low on power because uh, I'm only running one fusion reactor with a whole bunch of lasers let's get rid of the lasers, let's get rid of the shields um, I'll get the nuclear power up and running I was going to build it closer to my nuclear stock uh, which is in here uh, but I'm going to probably move this entire build which is going to be a nightmare uh, I can't move my uranium but the uranium will deplete so I put it right there, right at the end of my main line. The main line's not going to go past this because I'm not going to forward this here. Uh, if anything, I'll bring it up and then over. But I'm going to keep this entire area here. Spear, all for um, nuclear fuel. I'll grab that uh, oil patch very easy, but the main line's going to go in pretty much across the top of that oil patch. Alright, keep running. Uh, but I hope everyone's okay. Everyone's uh, having a good day. It is a... Um, it's a beautiful day here actually. Uh, it's Sunday the 23rd of June um, and currently it's tw uh, what is it 5 30 p.m. and it's 28 degrees Celsius. So it was a beautiful day here. Um, so it didn't uh, it made uh, sitting outside um, waiting on the fire crew to leave a little more bearable. See, that bot gives me wood, and then, eventually, mm, ah, pipes. Eventually, pots will take my wood away. Oh, there'll be those ones. There we go. There's the stream. Dum 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 Hurry up, butts. 200, 100, and... Done. Nope. Done. Oh, okay. Give me that. Oh, give me that. Okay. Run away before these bots turn up. To get me more stuff. Oh, did I only ask for 10 of those? Oh, no, 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 no. I need a lot more than 10, that's for sure. Uh, do I have the blueprint here? Nope. Just here. I need 192. I thought I had... Yeah, I do have it set up to have 192. But apparently I didn't have enough of the heat pipe. Because the bot seemed to be a little slow delivering that. Alright, I'm just going to see how it's for the, um, it's for my silo. Speaking of uh, for my silo, I didn't actually uh, grab my blueprint. I completely forgot to do that. Uh, so I'll have to, uh, at some stage, possibly at the end of the stream, jump over to my other save, grab my blueprint that I like to use for the silo, and, uh, Get that at least up and running. The 
Put the decon planet just so I can see that I've got the id. Once they're now coming home, they're not going back out. I really need that other roboport. Uh, not robot, what's it called? Um, fusion reactor, that's the one. My mind is not with me today, folks. I'm, I apologize. Please bear with me while I uh, I screw up my words and I derp around and I stutter. And uh, definitely need a more than that heat pipe. Wow. Out of heat pipe. Yikes. Okay, I shouldn't need any more of those. I definitely need more of those. If I come away here with a uh, pipe still. So rather than grabbing individually around the circle, I grab from the big stack of them that's piled up. You're not getting trees, guys. Come on. Build this. I did cover that side. Cool. That shouldn't be there. There we go. Oh, I do need some more. I mean more. Oh no, it's just the bots being slow. Where's the pile? There's the pile. I can grab a whole bunch there, then I can do the circle. Yep. Okay, build complete other than heat pipe. Which is 34, 36, 40, 50. Hmm. What if I chuck a robo port down? Will it tell me now? 127. There you go. 127. So let's clear that off, that order. Clear that off, clear that off. Get rid of the excess ones that I don't need. Uh, yep, that one there, that, that, okay, and then let's grab this, and that's some power poles running back to the base, so we'll get the bots, yeah, and deliver everything. There's me having to do it, it's going to be one hell of a bot highway. Hopefully I've got enough robot ports. Build one more. Yep. Okay. That one must be a different length. Will it reach? Oh, I can make it reach that way. Alright, powered up. Where you go? Uh, 32 objects are missing construction robots. 32 objects are missing construction robots. Really? Oh, must be that. Must be a forest I've deconstructed. Uh, right, where's my power armor? There's my fusion reactor. Yes! Finally. Finally, it's happened to me. Uh, I'm not fighting right now, so let's put my legs back in. Although, if I do it that way. That's better. Yeah, I like that better. It does exactly the same thing, it's just personal preference. Uh, right, why is my copper so bad? Why is my green circuit so bad? Correct, copper's gonna be bad because copper gets whatever green circuit it doesn't get. So why is green circuit bad? Circuits are bad because it is a lack of copper, because I am running red belt into yellow belt. Oh, I need to change this yellow to red. Uh, let's do all that again. Yellow belt to red belt. Uh, yellow unders to red unders. Yellow splitters to red splitters. Red to blue. Red to blue. Red to blue. Yellow to red, red to blue. Okay. 
copper, 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 copper. Instantly double dip. Uh, I'll put. Oh yeah, so that side's better. Over here, over here is better, good. Yeah, everything's full. Uh, so, con, if you're out there and you're watching, your build of green circus is this. Uh, I've got an extra one on the bottom, so you just double the build. That's all you got to do to yours. Um. Any bots? You don't want to get those ones? Fine. Oh. Hello. Hmm. That might uh, improve productivity a little if I had an extra. <laughs> oh, and down here. What on earth has happened here? I'm going to blade in dark. I'm blading the dragon. The dragon fire breathed and destroyed some of my my symbols. That's that's what happened. Sounds feasible, right? Right, and get rid of that. So I have a funny feeling. I move him. There. Oh, I need some more radars as well. Give me another stack, please. Spice. Copy the blueprint from there to there. Paste it there. Two, three, three. That one. Oh, what? There we go. Okay, those spots are here now to build. Out of that side there. One, there we go, placed. Lines are still backed up. Paste. Just inside the plastic lines. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, let's see if that doesn't produce a little more. Uh, I do need some more red belt. Give me that standard 500 of it. Underground splitters are okay. Okay, alright. Uh, that was my. Horrible power down. It's going okay. Uh, it's all getting to the end. I've got solid fuel again. I do have some solid fuel. It's run out though. Oops, there's my oil. It's loading. It's getting there. Not going great, to be honest. Got to change those filters. Um, oh, 
Hopper coming in is extremely depleted. Oh, there's one that does that one. Let's mine as fast as I can. Let's mine done down here. Fortunately, too good. We're done. Here finished. Over. That one. That one. That one. That one. This is just full. 198, uh, 148 on the bottom one, nice. Uh, uranium, can I get? I don't really want to do much of the uranium one. Stone is. Wow. Crap. That's one in the middle. Cool, oil. Get on. Up, Why is it here? Everything else is pretty up. Oh, wait. Backed up. That's a few at the top. Yeah, that's fine. And radar. We get a radar out over there. Apparently, I've got all my stocks that I needed. Let's grab these few trees. Let's just stop those from complaining. 127 heat pipes. That's still still going, huh? Still on robots missing construction. Oh okay, in here. It's interesting that the base didn't have them available. Oh, got them now. And onto the build. And chuck a radar down. Then I can at least see it on the map. Uh, network. Oh, there's a break. Of course there's a break in the network. There it is. There we go. Should see a wave of them coming over. There. Oh, yep, there. Oh, he's picking up. S oh, he's picking up a uh, destroy capsule. Nice. What's that? Oh, they're coming from my wood, isn't it? Yeah, they'll be coming from my wood. Alright, we'll go back and meet them.
back a little closer. Dum, dum, dum. I'm really not happy with this at all around here. I don't know why they're not passing around. They should have. They should have come and annihilated me by now. Poor Roboport is just getting all oh. will be full eventually. Uh, right. Oh, you want some wood? Sure, take some wood on me. Thank you. Thank you want to save. Uh, right, I need some requ- oh, I don't have requests to just... Uh, I need eight requests to say pro active providers. So I think Alien can share. Let's say... You have an input, you have an output. I'll move you to there. Input, output, go on the bottom, uh, input, output, output, input, that way, that way, uh, that way, that way, that way, that way, okay, requesting, oh, oh. That one, that one, that one. Active providers to get the depleted fuel cells out of here. Alright, now to power those. Where is my silly stations? Okay, those ones. Those ones. Those ones. Those ones. Whoops. How about we try that again? There. And it's all fully built. Request. How many fuel cells? Five? I think five. Oh. Uh, over ten. And you can request from buffer chests. Can I reach? Request, 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 request. Request, request. Ooh. Do we have them being delivered? Yes. They're going halfway and then go, oh, out of battery charge, go, go home. Stupid thoughts. Granted, there's a huge run of robo boards going around. Eventually, this will be uh, delivered by train. And I have this built somewhere else. I'm not too worried at the moment. <laughs> hey, fish. Yeah, buddy, I'll get I'll get more trains. Don't you worry, just for you, just for you. Uh, nuclear power. I'm going to say I'm done. I'm done nuclear power. Just wait on the uh, supply and input. Oh, I do need a robot board over there though. Oh. Oh, Trace. <laughs> so, what are you guys doing? Trace. Okay, bye bye, construction bots. At least the construction bots will be going back towards uh, base now. Uh, 
Only bad thing is if I do go out, it's still quite a way away from there. I was gonna say if I get attacked, the boss is gonna go off to try to repair. But they won't. It's too far away. Okay, the just boss brings fuel cells and then take wood away. No, that would have been queued up, of course. And why would it put some in here? <laughs> some in here? And then here. And then there, and then there. Ignores. <laughs> oh my god. Why not just do it in an order? Boom, 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 boom. Like, it should just throw. Like, those two are out of range. It should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's gone. 1, th uh, sorry, 4, 3, 5, 1, 6. And it still hasn't got to 2. Because I didn't paste it properly, apparently. That was my bad. That one can be put down to my fault. Uh, you doing okay, though, fish? Swimming. Oh, God, jeez. Like that again, is it? Uh, I'm just happy to know that I've got you in the chat, buddy. Always appreciate it. Let's have a look. You've been following since January 18th, 2016, man. You're a legend. That's uh, over three years you've been following. You've had an account since 2012. Ooh. I not think I've had my account for that long. When did I get my account? 2016, January 18th. I, I had my account. You're my, one of my first followers, you know that? I think you followed on my first day. Granted, this is my second account that I've had. My first one, I uh, I didn't like the name of it, so I closed it. Too much controversy. Uh, okay. Uh, what is our, what's next on the agenda? Uh, nuclear, I am checking off the list, which I purposely spelt wrong. I was annoyed. Uh, right, the revenge. Yes. Let's go get some revenge. Um, I'll take my stuff with me because I'm not going to die because I have multiple nukes. Famous last words. Uh, revenge is on these guys up here. Uh, this is where I died twice. Um, but I'm going to have to take out all these other bases on the way. Let's watch tidy up this outpost as I drive past it. I'm going to need a new copper deposit too soon. So I just finished marking these for deconstruction and more are gone. I don't have any repair packs on me. Reach on there, that's cool. I'll get that ones later. Sidetrack from my mission. Two viewers. Oh, I've got a lurker. 
And I'm not talking about you, fish. Normally you're my lurker. The lurking mod. Oh, hello, Mr. Scout Biter. Alright, uh, take off the rubber boards, put on the lids, uh, shields. That's what it was. Uh, Alright, let's go for a run. This has to boot up. There we go. I'm messing around. Take out the whole base one go. Mop up the, the stragglers. Get two nukes, spear. With these three big bases. Three big bases, two nukes, no problem. <laughs> nice, nice try. The heck is the point of that? I know. Give it 1k, 96k. I had to fire a nuke at this one, this is a bit big. Look at that range! Oh! Fire a nuke, they double the range from where you actually are. Oh, nearly got me. I think so, buddies. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Uh, this one's on the coast somehow. Is that for my. Gotta get back in there, but I've gotta get these guys. I ran out of nukes. Should I challenge this? Or should I ignore this? Challenge! Low. Ah, uh -huh. got one of your bases. I'll be back for that other one. So I got a new because it's a little, little big. That was uh, somewhat short work. Only running 35 uh, destroy caps as well. Um, can run up to 50 of those. The 50 now, so that was about to die. There's some destructors in there. Hey, 5,000 processing units an hour. The base is doing stuff while I'm gone. Nice, nice. Oh, that was a big pile of spit. Oh, yeah, there you go. Right between my PRDs and my destroyer capsules I've got left at 19. Just mop up the rest of these. Hey, go attack. Really? That's the best you do? Fine, I'll tell them. 
So I'm going to um, dedicate myself uh, basically an entire stream where I'm just going to go out and killing all the biters that I can possibly find. And then I'll set up, a, I'll dedicate another stream where all I'll do is uh, go out and outpost. Um, that's the boring thing, so I'll just basically dedicate some time to do that. Um, so that I'm not just doing, uh, like going back and forth, back and forth all the time. I should dedicate, right, one day, I'm just going to attack everything. So maybe bots are going to go from here, over to here, then detour and back down. As I click that, instantly the auto save. Uh, no power yet, can't be up to the 500, nope. Mm, oh yeah, they are, sure. No water, oh my god. Right, where's my vehicles? I've got one here, I've still got one over here. See, this is why I need active viewers to tell me, hey, you need to put water to that dummy. I even grabbed the offshore pumps here somewhere. I thought I did. Yeah, there they are. I even had the pumps ready for it. Ah, such an idiot. Alright, all the way back across the other side of the map. Uh, don't need those though. Stop requesting those. I don't think I need as many of those anymore. Let's grab two stacks only. Very help, two copper plates are gonna get me. Probably, I'll probably need those two copper plates. If I can get the right angle, let's try this angle here without turning. Got yeah, one bad right between the cliffs and oh, right into a forest. Pretty close though. Nope, oh, I got my robots off, that's right. It's off. Robot's on. Back in the car. Alright, water hookups. A lot of water hookups. Which means I need a lot of underground pipes. Which I've only got 50. They're not good. Not good at all. Alright, let's put it to there, see how that goes. There. Where's this pump set? There we go. Uh, one here. One here. One here. Yeah, you're there. Pipe. There. 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 And there. Oh, I'm now producing nearly double that I was producing with my steam engines. Um, damn, and there's only half of the build set up. Got the top after water. All the crap. Uh, let's put it to here. One, two. One, two, three. 
See if I can get the water through. It's a shame you can't underground. Like, I could push that across, but basically there to there. That would be perfect if you could underground your entire assembly, but it's one, one length short. Uh, I guess I could probably water it from down here. Alright, uh, pump. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I don't remember how many pipes are needed then. Um, we're kind of here. Hey Bob. Yep, uh, so the top half of this build uh, has absolutely no water to it at the moment, so none of these are actually running. Uh, so yeah, that's why. Uh, it's only the bottom four that are actually doing the work. I, uh, I, I've had many, many derp in this, uh, this mission of mine. And uh, I have a feeling there'll be a few more. Am I actually requesting five? I'm in logistics range, let's just request a few extra pipes. Again. Well, that reached. Just trying to uh, tidy it up, neat it up, make it pretty. You know what it's like. Uh, even if I was running, it should be getting more, I think, but let's, but let's see when you connect the top. Could be just the heat pipes aren't uh, hot yet. Could be. Um, Oh, that's what it's like now. 192, 146. Pipe. Running down, yeah, they're over 800 each. If there's any breaks in the build. All the robo range, let's not say I'm missing any heat pipes. It yeah, looks okay. I think it's just the piping that's uh, the issue. Why am I not in range? On the way 193, on the way 100. Okay, must be just out of robo range when I'm up there. Yeah, I am. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not too worried. Uh, the main thing is, it's uh, it's more than enough power that I'm, what I'm using right now. Uh, but yeah, I had a major issue where the um, my base had run out of uh, solder fuel because I'm using a uh, makeshift oil uh, factory and the ratios for the cracking is wrong so uh, I need to go over and fix the oil build eventually. I got my pipes coming yet? Seven. One. Come on, bots. The hell are they doing? Oh, they're actually going to have to place it rather than giving it to me. How rude. Construction bots are being more proactive than the uh, logistic bots are. I mean, it's a mission for them to come over. 
Uh, should be 500, it was just 4 reactors, but I think it's too early to call you. It, I only place it maybe, how long have I been streaming for? 47 minutes, uh, probably about, well, I just got the water connected. Um, a few minutes, so I think it's just got to, you know, get up to speed. I'm hoping that's the issue. I hope I don't have to replace all the heat pipes. So I remember a long time ago there was an issue with heat pipes where you had to place it in an order from the reactors out. If you went the other way then it wouldn't work. So I'm hoping they fix that. I haven't heard of that bug for a while so I'm being hopeful. Sorry my, uh, my downfall. That's so I'm still going to be in the range while I put these pipes in. Hey, how you doing anyway, Bob? You have a good day, man? time they arrive, I should be able to build this myself. Everyone's all spinning. Steam going through. All right, we'll check up on this in a few minutes. Uh, two times by Victoria's. So I'll set off for watching streams today. A bit of a fun with my 200th Bob Angel build. I don't really want to start a new save either. Uh, I feel you, man. I feel you. Um. This is, gosh, I can't even think, probably about my 50th factory, uh, but I had this design, this idea um, for this particular factory for a very long time. Um, this is probably my fourth or fifth uh, idea that I had, and um, I'm finally putting it to fruition, I'm finally... Um, going to you know get this thing built up the way I wanted always wanted to build it uh, so my idea of this map is uh, it is going to be a, a giant mega map um, I call it a giant mega to my standard compared to what I normally build uh, other people can say I'm wrong but I'm not <laughs> it's, uh, it's mega to me um, and it's a concept that I haven't seen anyone else do before so uh, I'm putting it into fruition to see if it's uh, viable when it's possible. I think the limiting factors are going to be UPS um, as well as uh, my own mental uh, strain. So what my goal is, you say I have a uh, silo buffered up stores, I know, that's all good. Um, I'll go into my map view, here's my map. Uh, I've explored a lot because I had to look for coal. Um, and it ended up being that was my closest coal patch from my base that I had to tap into. It was an absolute mission. Again, I've had fighting coal and power uh, issues pretty much my entire playthrough. Uh, but my idea is that on the logistic uh, intermediate positions uh, products tab is a whole bunch of things. I'm going to have a dedicated um, 
town styled outpost for every single uh, item that I can have. So there will be a copper cable uh, outpost. There will be a iron stick outpost. Not a big outpost, obviously, but there will be a outpost for every item. So there will be a, let's say, a iron smelter up here. There will be a copper smelter over here, for example. Um, and then the smelter for the iron will go down to a gear assembly. And then uh, over here may be a red science assembly. The gears will come across, the red science will come across, and into a science build, which will then go to the labs. Um, the closest person to, uh, to do this that I've seen um, has been exterminated with the sending supporters to space map. Um, that's the closest to my concept that I've got here um, that I've come across. Now, his didn't go quite to the same length. He went to you know, mega slash gigabase style, um, but he had a, still a lot of the standard builds, for example, um, out of my car. For example, uh, go and be green science. Green science. Here's my green science. Uh, he still had iron plate and copper plate coming into wire assemblies into green uh, circuit build. I am going to have it as the copper plate will go to the wire assembly. The wire will come across to this build and then will go into the green circuit machine. Um, it's going to be a, a labour of love. Wow. Oh hate for that matter, um, either or either, uh, as I said, it, it's going to be a mission, uh, I'm doing this mostly solo, uh, I have had a couple of people come in and help me out here and there, uh, actually I only had one person, it was uh, Dark Dragon, uh, which is the cause of most of my problems now, because this is his uh, oil build, uh, this is his blueprint, and just, I'm just going to go over, I'm going to go now and just sort out these pumps because the, the cracking percentages is just wrong. Um, I'm not cracking enough solid fuel quick enough and I also need to put some speed modules in all this as well. So let's go head over and do that now. Um, my map's a mess because I've got a to-do list on here. Uh, I've had to go get some revenge because I lost a power armor and all the things in it as well as an entire inventory of stock over here. So I had to get some revenge over here. Um, already in the stream I've cleared out a few biters that were up over here. My pollution is kind of insane. And the weirdest, strangest and kind of scariest thing is I have not had a single pollution based biter attack. The biters are not friendly by any means. The expansion is off. But the biters are in the pollution and they have not sent out an attack. And this one has been in the pollution for about seven to eight hours of this playthrough. You can just see how solid that red is, and then it just goes in and absorbs it. Um, this one base has pushed my evolution up probably about 20%. Um, but again, it's not just one base, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This zoo, nine. Nine bases all in pollution. These ones are about to get hit as well. Uh, my defense is, uh, is that. On the right side. I haven't put any more defenses up north. It's just that. Um, which is. 14 laser turrets and 8 gun turrets. That's it. <laughs> That's my eastern defense. My western defense. If I turn this off and turn on my defenses. Is a wall between the oil and the main base. Which to be quite honest. Is absolutely pointless. Let's get rid of that wall. I hate how you can't uh, remove things out of ra uh, radar range. But yeah, I have no other defences over here. See, defences? No defences. So my eastern flank is, uh, sorry, western flank is completely open. Um, really? Yeah, I was, I'm wondering it. It's kind of, it's kind of saved me. But at the same time, it's kind of annoyed me. Because I want a little more of a challenge. Otherwise, I would have just turned the biters off. Or put them to friendly mode. But having these biters not attack at all, and there is an absolute path all the way around the outside, like they can pass through me. There's no problem with pathing. All I could think of was this one base here, the main one that's been getting a pollution. I was wondering if that one base in particular 
was looking at paths and left and couldn't find a path. Uh, but I even chucked a radar down right down as close as to the border. And so this is pretty up to date. It's been pinging it every now and then. Um, I wonder if the path thing on it was just too long to go all the way around. And same with even this one. Because it's still in the biter as well, uh, pollution as well. I just wonder if maybe that path thing was too far around to get back to whatever was triggering the, um, the uh, attack. Which I'm thinking would probably be my coal wood solid fuel base steam um, power which I've got kind of a, a blob of it and I kind of landfilled in the lake and then needed more power urgently so I'm running a blue belt into a splitter that goes into a blue belt and a red belt that red or blue belt goes into a splitter that goes into two red belts and then that goes into two yellow belts it's kind of a mess but it was an ur urgent emergency fix up I did that uh, right when I logged off last night, I uh, hooked up these two and re-inputted this one particular coal belt to try to support it, because again, it was the oil. Uh, my resources were low. Um, my base oil, 212% now. The first uh, out piece, which is all piped back to here. Uh, all of it's piped until through one pipe here, uh, which is actually backed up with oil nicely. Uh, but that there is 231. The next one out is this one over here, which is 5,800. So that's, I've got a, a bit of a storage here now. Uh, thankfully, oh, I also have this one. Oops, sorry. Wait. One, two, three, four. For some reason, I've got oil load three. I've got oil load two. I don't have, oh, because that was oil load two there. There okay. uh, This is just my um, smelting array. Four tap, very very typical. Four copper, one steel, four iron, two stone, uh, two stone brick. Uh, I've got four assemblies back in the wall. I've got an entire thousand capped chest of landfill. Uh, so that's pretty standard. Wondering, copper's still low, isn't it? Green circles are just eating all of my copper now. Um, so my four lanes of copper coming into the base. Oh, hold on. Something not quite right with the smelter array. Can't pick it. There's something not right with the smelter because that shouldn't be doing that. There shouldn't be gaps in that belt. Um, but yeah, the I've got my green circuits taking priority on all of my belts, and then anything left over goes through to the base. Because um, I was desperately short of green circuits, and once that builds up and backs up, then uh, then that red, uh, the copper will go into the base anyway, so I'm not too worried. Um, all my signs are backed up completely, uh, to the point where I've got 7.7 .7 thousand yellow signs backed up. All my research is done, I'm just waiting on space science, which of course I'm waiting on my rocket launch, uh, which I'm not inputting yet. I'm uh, getting a big buffer of stockpile, uh, I'm going to blast off a couple of rockets at a time. I haven't built the satellite yet, um, so I do need to get that done as well. Uh, just thinking, don't need anything for the oil. Go fix up a couple of the pumps, change the priorities, change the values. I uh, don't think I've got any nukes back yet. Also, oh, Robo deconstruct this wall. Now it. There really is no point in me having this wall here. All aboard. Yeah, the the biro attacks is very weird. Um, I've been very confused about those ever since the beginning. Um, 
I think they've done something to the AI, AI um, passing and the, uh, the reasons for them to attack. Uh, right, so what needs to be changed here? Petroleum gas. This one, if it's more than 24,000, so let's change that down to 20,000. 20, Set. Yep, cracking. Uh, speed modules. Go to there and run. And get this piece. Speed module in those because I know they're backed up. Only uh, level 1 speed modules. Get some proper cracking done. I am out of speeds. Cool. Uh, right, so I did the cracking. 20,000 for petroleum. Light. Next. Light always cracks. Uh, cracks and then... Uh, is it that one? That's heavy. Oh, that one's light there. Crack of light is over 20. 15. And heavy. If lube is over 20, which is what we want. Lube is currently 24. Currently not turned on. Why not? That pump turns on. If lube is less than 25k, I'm at 24k. <laughs> Why is it 25k? You can't have 25k. Got all these are wrong. Uh, so he turns on if the lube is low. So let's go 20,000 lube. About 24,000, so he should be in off state, which is a red marker. Cracking to light should turn on if lube is over 20k, so that should be a green state right now. For some reason, the lube is not linking up. It's reading it 24k, it reads 24k, it does not. Okay. Red wire. This is the wire. Excuse me? Wire can't reach. Oh, piss off it can't. Okay. Okay, that pole then. And. Red wire. Right, now it's reading. I wanted to also read sulfur. I have sulfur, yes I do. Give me another wire. Okay. Sulfur, petroleum, loop, light, heavy. Um, okay, that looks better. The green is cracking, come back out. it would help. Boy. Right, you crack if light oil is greater than 15,000. Uh, light oil is 14,000. You are doing the cracking. Uh, something on the patch notes about reducing the UPS impact of bite of pathing. I think it is. I, I really do truly think that the biter pathing is broken. I think what's happened is if the biters are not in uh, visible range, I think they pretty much go turned off. And then they must do a, a like a scan pass. That wouldn't even work because even if it was doing a scan pass, 
and go activate 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 are you in pollution activate it's still not doing it because i still haven't had any biter attacks from the beginning which is a lot of hours it's actually this base looks pretty decent i'm going to say decent but for the hours that i put in it's not um it definitely should be bigger by now but uh back and forth fighting with um uh power and oil problems Uh, work of over 20,000, yep, that should be doing it. It is as fast as it can, it needs to get some speed modules over here. Um, yeah, no, the base would definitely be bigger than what it is. Light oil is pretty much always getting cracked, or it's been put into solid fuel. My base is going to come to a halt because I'm going to run out of petroleum gas storage, I think. 19, 22, 14. Okay, it looks better. Perfect. Trains are all backed up. Okay. I think that's fixed the uh, oil issue that I've noted. Right, so we'll come back to it. Uh, revenge, defense, defense, officer. Okay. Fixed oil ratios can be what? Hmm. Not what I wanted. I got this here, and then I've also got my start the mega basing. So, all my, my starting things that I'm going to build. Uh, why's my stream gone black all of a sudden? There we go. Sorry about that, don't know what happened there. My stream just went black. I hope it wasn't there like that for too long. Train. Station, alright. Uh. Yeah, no nukes. Let's go back to the base, see if I can get some nukes. I don't think I can, because I think my, uh, uh, my 235 is uh, going elsewhere at the moment. Let's drive into a forest while I'm looking at thoughts and ideas. I normally do go through map view, air marker view, uh, minus for deconstruction, and then just drive past when the next time I'm going past it, grab it all. Oh, that's not something else. You have nothing going. You got no water coming in. Must have missed some water pipes. I did right here. Uh, can I steal water from you? So I should steal the water from you, but I'm going to literally take all the water from this.
Wenn man Spin macht, oder? Aber in Rival Range. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know. It was weird. Like I, I looked over at my screen, and all of a sudden, it was just it. It went black on me, uh, like a couple of seconds, like before, I, like before I commented. So I'm like, wait, why is it black? Not supposed to be black screen. Uh, it comes up here. Sort of safe. Alright, um, there. I'll hook all this water back up here. Then we pass it at night time now, otherwise I wouldn't have seen it like that. I'm sure I'm going to get more water from there. Pumps, can I squeeze the other two in here? Nope. Nope. Alright, lay down here then. Thinking, thinking, where's that one come from? That one. Right. Water pressure building. Water pressure built. Uh, uh, that's better. Why is my steam, uh, my nuclear now so much lower again? And you did right. The full um, nuclear build should have uh, produced 500 because it's a uh, one gigawatt. Um, stamp that I've got there. What are you raising? Because I don't have enough draw on it or something? Uh, they're all built up, they're all fully fired. Weird. Um, for some reason, Nightbot's not working. Uh, the mods that I am running is a very easy list. Uh, I am running Disco Science only. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you Disco Science because I don't have any science to show to do. Uh, but I'm running the Disco Science Lab uh, mod. That's the only mod that I'm running currently. Uh, my settings were all default. I did put on the Research Queue um, and installed that one mod. Uh, but it's Rail World settings, so it's not default. But all ores are default Rail World settings. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, Nightbot's not working properly. Uh, I've been back and forth trying to get it to work, and uh, for some reason, no go. 
It's just like, nah, <laughs> nah, 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 you can't do that. Just looking at my bots, fire commands now. Yeah. Set up for everyone to work. Exclamation mark mods. No, nope, no bots, just like, nah, not working. Don't want to. In fact, no bots are not even in the channel right now. Is no bot down or something? Hi, bot, where are you? Um, did you not ask five minutes ago about miners? The railroad says they will not expand back, so when you killed them, they said, Yes, so about the biters, I um, it is railroad settings, uh, and the expansion is definitely off 100%, but they are not friendly. Uh, and the thing is, they are in pollution range and they are not attacking, even though they've been in a pollution range for about eight hours. This base, this base, eight hours, obviously, this is an island. But this base has a path that it can take all the way around. I've made the path, I made sure there was a path, and I have not received a single attack here. You'll see zero kills, zero kills, zero kills. Uh, damage up zero. All zeros on all of them. Uh, I have not received a single attack, even though they're in pollution. So the pollution trigger for a biter attack looks like it's down and broken. I was thinking it might be too far, but at the same time, it's not really that far. Like, it should be working. I don't see why it's not. Um, I, I've looked at it, looked at it, looked at it. I can't work out why. I'm thinking the biter pathing is broken for it. Uh, I know there was a, a debug setting to show pathing. Uh, when I looked at it last time, um, oh. nope. Uh, when I looked at it last time, they, um, there was a path directly to it. Here's artillery? No, no, let's not go there. I don't have the defenses set up for artillery. <laughs> I will absolutely test it. N let's not do that yet, okay? <laughs> let's not get too carried away. Um, uh, all I have, my all my bases defense. If I turn on defenses, turn off the labels. This is all my earmark for deconstruction. So these aren't even working. There. And there. That's all my defenses for my entire base. Um, I had, until I lost my body, uh, which I better probably do now as well. I did have um, a whole bunch of laser turrets, substations, power poles. Uh, in my inventory, in case of a biter attack. That I could literally just spam it and throw some down. But uh, it's never come. Uh, never received that, the inevitable attack, so, uh, yeah, a little concerned. Oh, hello, Nightbot. Why are you spamming that for? Discord, that Discord link doesn't work. Uh, that Facebook account, I think, is broken. Talk about Nightbot. Nightbot shows up and then sends the wrong information. Cool. Uh, timers, no timers. Oh, there it is. Delete that. Alright, got rid of that one. You have 15 minutes to find your corpse. Oh, this was hours ago. Um, so, 
I went off to basically secure some space to build a wall up so I could actually get a decent wall over this side um, because as railworld as all maps go now pretty much as soon as you get too far away from your base it just turns into like a death world scenario there's just so many bases uh, this here was pretty much all bases and I ran into the middle of it and died uh, I lost a lot of good stuff there uh, that's why there's a nuclear rule and also a revenge to-do list um, but yeah you can just see it's just insane. Uh, here, all of this is just behemoth worms, behemoth biters, behemoth spitters, all over here, uh, out here as well. Um, so yeah, I went up. I did go back for more buddy, um, but unfortunately, I'm using uh, someone else's uh, make everything styled mall, and the stupid thing doesn't build uh, any uh, submachine guns or rocket launchers. Uh, they're small now because I've thinned a few of them, uh, there were a lot more, um, but yes, uh, further out I know that it's just a blanket red wall. Um, I played Death Worlds before, uh, I played a Death World on Friendly before, um, uh, kind of like uh, Mangle Pork or Bentham's uh, Living With Biters, I tried that style, I got a little further than what I did now, my base was probably you know, four times what this starter base is, it's a four times the size of the base. Um, and it was, it was interesting, um, because it wasn't actually four times the size, it was basically this size base in the four times footprint because of how many it was. But it got to the point where I, I put a belt down and bomb, instant dead. Uh, three to four nukes for each nest. Yep, sounds about right. Uh, speaking of three to four nukes, where is my nuke build? Why you no build? Rock control units because I turned off that belt. I remember now. Uh, make it a little faster, please. I'm sure I'm there. Fifty. Give me 150, and you can request some buffer chests. Uh, you can't make machine guns. This make everything mold does not make machine guns. No, so I had to grab the supplies and handcraft it. So the problem was I requested it. I requested nukes, uh, rocket launcher, uh, uranium ammo, and a submachine gun. Sat here for about because uh, my spawns over here. I ran over to here to grab a spare tank that I had sitting here. Uh, by that time, by all the bots had come in, I didn't look at my inventory at all. Drove my tank all the way out. Got out to here-ish. Uh, this is a car, I believe. This is my, my second backup car. Got all out to about here. Was starting to kill the... Um, Realised that I was drawing them in. Looked at my inventory, didn't have any rocket launchers, didn't have a submachine gun. I had, I think, four nukes and uh, 500 rounds of uranium ammo, but nothing to fight with. Uh, my pistol wasn't able to shoot the uranium ammo fast enough, so instant dead, basically. Um, so it's pretty pretty horrible, and thanks for that uh, follow there, bud. Um, so, yeah. Why would I have it pre-created? Um, in the off car chance that I uh, I have that same problem again <laughs> um, but I'm also trying to get some uh, spear ammo armors like I lost an entire armor like I lost a lot in that fighter attack it was it wasn't ideal it was not ideal at all but uh, hey I'm back up I'm back up and running got a new ammo new armor and uh, yeah I uh, still haven't got nukes. I was really hoping to get some nukes. That's why I came all the way back over here. Because uh, I don't really fancy going back out. I know what I can do. Let's speed some things up. Dum 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 dum. Let's grab some rocket control units and some blue tickets. So 
have any chests? Yes, but for yeah, right. Those. A couple of extras of those. Oh wait, you don't use those. You use those. Yeah, I handed it on myself. Okay. I didn't do that right, did I? <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, I'll hit off with a couple of nukes. Uh, I'm actually going to go east. Because I think this is the one that's going to attack. I'm actually going to let this one attack. I'm going to go over and get my defense build this wall up properly. Uh, get that working at least. So I want at least one nuke. Thank you. Give me my car. I should have parked up here. Did I park my car here? Where the heck did I leave my car now? Anyone remember where I left my car? I thought I had it here. Didn't leave it over by oil. I drove back from oil. Oh, I left it up here. There we go. My equipment setup, uh, right this second, uh, is that. So robos are on. Take robos off. Put on two shields. I can uh, PLD and I can pretty much take out all the bases, but I just want to nuke as a backup. Uh, if I get overrun, I'll just borrow a nuke at my feet. Uh, I'm also running uh, Distractor and Destroyer capsules. Those things now, in this la one of these previous updates, amazing. Oh, and a host from Matt Jam as well. Thanks, man. Uh, I'll take that one viewer host. No batteries? Nah. Who needs batteries? Yeah. I was reading a text at the same time I was driving. Don't text and drive, kids. Uh, let's grab this. Didn't grab enough. That's better. Yeah, I find batteries are overrated. How did you not delete? Not here as usual. It's excellent. Good to know that you're not here. You can uh, you can lurk like uh, fishes. He's never here. Probably would have helped if I actually brought more wool with me. I have these dirt moments. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go do something. I'm going to go and kill some biters. Oh, wait. I've got no supplies to kill said biters. Oh, well. And we're out of wool. Alright, where's my substations? Where's my substations gone? I just want to have substations right there. What the heck has happened to my toolbar? Okay, okay. But then I have a manual old way to do it. No shields? Uh, I took my shields off to put the robos back on so I can at least uh, um, build this partial wall. But yeah, normally I have two shields. And again, don't need more than two shields uh, right now. Um, if I'm going out too long, then I will. Uh, but the destroyer and defender capsules, they absolutely annihilate all biters. That's uh, kind of stupidly almost overbroken uh, broken how, how powerful they are now. Um, 
push to get with long range papals. And uh. Unlikely I'm going to need to get vehicle access up here. Alright, so I'm going to need pipe anymore. I'm going to need some wall. And wait, I've got laser ducts. Under those. And subsection 50 is enough. That was cool. Um, so yeah, no shields. Uh, sorry, no shields, no batteries. Uh, yeah, I do have. Uh, I don't have batteries, but shields don't need many shields. Um, as I say, destroy and defend the capsules. When in a tank, I won't be in a tank when I go out there. Um, I'll, I'll leave my car here as well with all my my goodies in it. Um, but in a tank, I can drive around, um, or run around, sometimes, with destroyers, defend the capsules. Um, my PLD's on, and firing uh, the occasional nuke, not very often, but I don't take damage. Um, the destroyer defender capsules tend to take care of pretty much all my, uh, all the biters. Uh, so drop off everything, but let's keep those. Pick out my rotor ports, put my shields back in. Uh, and then swap out the... Things that I don't really care about. Oops, do that. I need those. I don't care much about solar fuel. So I'm basically dropping off the things that are cheap. Uh, so if it's uh, a less expensive item in here. Uh, I need the ammo. I need to basically dump those out. And power pole, keep the 50 radars. Keep those on me. Not because I need them, but mostly because uh, if I lose them, big deal. I'll care about those two. Okay. Make sure I'm set up. Yep. Uh, position. I'm going to leave that base. I'm going to go down and Tackle one of these other ones, just checking the map. Uh, take the fish. Oh, did I? I thought I had the fish on me. Oopsie, that way. Uh, keep going, guys. Thank you. I was meant to, uh, didn't mean to keep the fish on me. Alright, let's check a couple of these out. Now we're up to 50 followers, which is marked down here by green. I'm leaving this base down here purposely there, just so it will hopefully trigger the, uh, um, the uh, pollution attack. But as you'll see, I'll pretty much just walk right through this entire base. And not really fear much for my life at all. There you go. Not a single piece of damage. You are supposed to be messy or fishy. Yeah, you just chuck down a distractor early. Distractor early. Distractor early. Oi! Dodge the spit. Distractors. The distractors sort of keep all the, uh, the worms busy in the middle of the base. While your destroyers run around the outside with your PLDs taking care of any biters and um, and the actual base itself. I didn't move there for a last couple of seconds. I normally take more damage while I leave a base <laughs> by a spit left on the ground than I do it while actually attacking. Alright, let's head north. Thing is, these only last two minutes and then they die off so you've got to keep a, a 
mental case in mind to throw, oh, that's right, I need to throw some more of those out, or be prepared to throw them out. Yeah, these damn ro robots now, the combat robots are just insanely overpowered. Draw out all the biters. I'm ready for the destroyers to uh, despawn as well. Yep, there you go. Thanks for what I say, Rise of Splits about that me. One nuke's enough? Oh, one nuke will take care of that, wouldn't take care of the other base. I'm trying to reach it as well as combat, it's not working out well for me. Uh, the bases I thought they don't even fit on screen so big yet. Um, I know they are that big. Um, about five more thousand tiles out. Obviously these ones are still very much the early close by the bear spawn. Uh, as I said, they haven't spread out very much. Like You can see a couple of the uh, behemoth sp uh, spitters and biters and stuff at these spawns, but that's because I already ran past them killed a few on the way past. Really the uh, these bases are still tiny. The behemoth biters still cause a problem. And the um the big worms spit that causes uh, the slowdown effect, which can really uh, be problematic if you get stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's all my last of my destroyers. I really don't just came out to uh, provoke a couple of these. They're not really doing much. Maybe clear off a couple of the ones that are near the, the edge of my pollution, but mostly it was to shore up that uh, that wall defense. Oh, that was presumably his works. There we go. And also my uh, lasers ran out of power. Not my lasers, what are they called? Uh, shields. My shields uh, dropped their power. I should have my cliff explosives on me because then I could have uh, made a shortcut up here rather than going all the way back around. I was a destroyer capsules are pretty derpy. Actually, I just noticed there's a gap here I could have gone through. Okay. Yeah, when you get like five or six uh, behemoth biters on you, then it starts to get a little little bit uh, hairy. There's some distractors out. Like, I don't even use grenades now. I feel like I don't need them. Early game, they're good. Uh, again, especially against small biters. Um, then late game, nah, don't need them. Unless you want to clear a forest, but then your bots normally can do that much faster anyway. Or use a nuke when you get to really late game. Right now my base is... Uh, got a couple of bottlenecks that I need to sort out, but it's only my starter base, it's not my main, main base. Um... Yeah, the batteries help, but it's good for a visual indication of when to get the hell out of there and uh, when you might need to um, retreat. But again, you can just see, I had one small issue uh, where I nearly died, but that's it. It's otherwise pretty pretty simple. Might have a problem here now uh, that I don't have any capsules. 
I do have my uranium rounds, which I am now starting to fire. This is the first time I actually started firing my, my uh, gun at them. Whether I get another behemoth biter, I'll be fine. The only thing normally to take them out, though. Behemoth split is a piece of cake for derpy. Hey, you two, get back here. Die. Uh, I'm not going to start on that base without uh, more distractors and uh, thing. Uh, that's where, uh, for trees? Uh, grenades. Grenades for trees. To destroy them. Uh, robots then uh, train use the wood for power. Uh, so I already have... Back to base. Um, I already have enough wood. I've got 20,000 wood in my system, which is actually being put and fed into uh, only two arrays of my power. Uh, it's also got then this coal backup and then a solid fuel backup. Um, but I again, I have enough. Uh, I got a, an entire bunker of coal as well. I got three point one thousand and uh, coal just sitting in there storage. Now that's not from me mining to put it into there. That is just from me moving belts around. Uh, but running coal, trains on coal uh, on wood power, I'd rather not. <laughs> uh, I want my trains to get to the destination. I've done it before, um, and it's a good way to get rid of a bit of extra stock. Um, but no, I'd rather I'd rather run them on um, solid fuel mostly, and then run them on uh, nuclear fuel. I don't normally run them on rocket fuel. All right, pollution. You tickled yet? Started to. I'm gonna just go out there just to prove that there is an actual base there. Not for anyone's sake, but for my own. Uh, you need to mix it if you feed one side of the belt. You need to mix it. It's not needed use, being used. Uh, it was, and that's why, um, and it still is. Uh, you'll see lots will be delivering. If I click, I hover over it. Uh, deliver 32 wood, deliver 28, deliver 32. It's pretty much a constant stream of 32 bots coming over and delivering. Uh, you should see that arm move. There we go. It's not using it all the time, which it doesn't need to. It's mostly to supplement the um, solid fuel. But uh, yeah, a lot of these will be running on uh, solid fuel. And occasionally you'll find one that will be a, a wood. Which is, at the moment, it's the first two on the right side. Uh, but I will be going back through to put more wood in them to have a few more running on wood. But yes. Uh, but yeah, there's the, there's a base right beside me. In tickled on pollution only on the biters itself, not the actual spawner yet. But it's uh, it's a chunk away. Oh, and that just grew. That must tickle it soon. All right, let's go back to my car. Went back to the base. Get the rest of the lasers to go up north. I uh, Thinking, thinking, I might put a third layer row of uh, lasers here. Oop, I better grab my inventory out before it plays up. Uh, just said so second chest will be two sides. Could do that. Could do that. Could uh, maybe rejig it a little bit and have one chest feeding both sides of the belt with a stack and center as well. I'll have a look at it. Uh, it's not priority. Having power running was priority. Um, but uh, it wasn't a priority at the point to uh, to use uh, to use up all the wood. I can keep the wood fine. Uh, I've got another use for wood. Which is what those chests are for. Uh, so the other part of the mission. So I've got two mental goals. One, having the multiple outposts going around the map. Second is uh, the one stack challenge, uh, sorry, one chest challenge for each item. So as you can see, each item has its own chest. And uh, eventually I want to fill each of those chests with all the items that are supposed to go in there. Um, so uh, I'll go over, where is that? Over here. So here I have some wood. <laughs> wood chests. That's where some of the wood's gone to. Some of the wood will go to the power poles. Um, unfortunately, there's only two items that use wood, but uh, yeah, it, I have a use for wood, and I will use it. It's just uh, 
having fun with it at the moment. Okay, bots deliver. Deliver the 300 wall, deliver the 100 lasers, I think. I have it in the uh, radar. How many lasers in one row here? 38. I'll replace those gun turrets down the bottom there as well. Will 100 lasers do? Probably not. Let's get 200 just in case. Uh, I'll place another radar on the north side. Asking for a hundred of those. Not oh yep, hundred of those. I've got any more nukes? I've got my ten nukes. Beautiful. Okay, base kind of produced enough lasers yet. Alright, back to the wall. Back to the front lines. And so that will be another mark checked off my list, which is uh, sure up the east, make the east, east wall built. Um, then I have to go to the west and do the same sort of thing. And I've got slightly, about half an hour left of this uh, ability to do it. I've got, uh, I've got a birthday party I've got to go and attend. Need more trains on my entire network. Uh, so right now, no. Um, but eventually, yes. Hey, Gon. How's it going, buddy? How was uh, how was your game? It was amazing. Excellent. Good to hear, Ben. Um, so right now my train system is very much entry level. Uh, but if I go over to, say, my oil outpost, I've got an oil and two oil trains waiting to go. Uh, one's leaving. Good. I've got a water train sitting here um, waiting. The other one's on its way to the stacker. Uh, lube is full up. And I think if I go over to my main base... Yep, the lube is still in the north sides of the tank, not the south sides because of how pumps work. I need to remove. Uh, I need to remove both of those. I mean, which ones are planned on that one and that one? And remove that one and that one. Yeah, um, Ding Dong's build was wrong for the uh, for the loop uh, the trains as well. Um, but yeah, so all my trains are pretty much backed up. Sulfuric is backed up on both sides. So let's get rid of you, 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 you. Oh, same deal. That one, that one. That one, that one. Solid fuel train. Oil train. So that's all good. Um, and then south side of this. I guess. And... Uh, assets which were just walked to the other side, so they're all good. Then, if I go up to my outpost, cop train in oh, copper being unloaded, iron being unloaded, one train waiting, one train being loaded at the copper on its way. So, they're all sort of all the trains that I've got are backed up. I'm running one single train to here, which is never I don't think it's ever done a single trip, it's just sat here the whole time. Uh, he goes back over and grabs the iron plate from. Uh, which is the end of the bus but uh yeah at the it's growing it's uh going to grow very very soon um it's just a as a as i've uh, told someone uh this is not a hey i'm gonna be done in a week or a month job uh i kind of expecting this to go for around about six months One. Why are you not done there? Oh, I just messed up that last blueprint, didn't I? 
I did. Okay. Well, this one was messed up. Place, 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 and this one, place. Okay. Defense is shored up. Did I run out of wool again? Wow, it did actually run out of wool. Holy. Uh, good to hear, Con. Glad it went well for you. Unlikely they're going to get up there anyway. Now, do I want to poke the bear? Do I want to s possibly trigger all the biters to attack? Do I want to do it? Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, send over your 10,000 walls, man. I'll, I'll just kindly take it. I'm not going to trigger the attack, I'm going to let this thing attack. Oh, it just flashed. Are you going to flash again? Did I just see something? Oh, yep, flicker. So this is not too far away from my wall. I have radars. I need a radar in the north as well. I remembered. Okay, go onto that cliff. Uh, radar. I have radars. They trigger. That should be sending an attack. <laughs> you could. Uh, don't you think the uh, Violent Shadow? Don't you think that's close enough for that attack to trigger? Should be. I really do believe that should trigger. Alright, I'm going to just get over to the west side. Um, hmm. Could put the wall, uh, the couple of lasers there. Uh, rather try to claim all this. I might go and claim all that. Alright, let's go to the west. The east should be covered from the biters. They should, uh, even if they take that should be okay. The only reason that should fall now is I run out of power to it. I have enough power. Still unsure why my nuclear is not producing as much power as it should be. It's almost like only one... Like almost only one uh, of the turbines is actually all the uh, builds are working, not the eight. It's like... This one... Oh, this one's working. That's it. <laughs> Really don't know why. Might again expert in to have a look at it. I have a feeling it's going to be something to do with the heat distribution pipes. Let's check out my uranium while I'm here. So I never attend this via map view. Uh, working, 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 working. I've got to go back and uh, remodule that oil build too, don't I? That one. Uh, well, so um, I would reset my sleeping today, but it took a power nap to go and play with the other dude to warning, but he had to leave. Oh, buddy. No good. Um, well, I'll make it easier for you because uh, I I have to go to a, I'm doing a birthday party tonight I've got to go to. Um, and then after the birthday party I will possibly stream. It will be earlier than it normally uh, stream. And normally I come back home at around about 4 a.m. Uh, tonight it should be about um, uh, what time was I going to say? Uh, about midnight. 
I'll come home a little earlier than I normally do so that uh, I can get a little bit more of a stream in. And then, as I was uh, saying uh, the other day, I'm also headed out on a camping trip. Uh, we'll be going hiking for a few days. And um, while I'm gone, you'll be able to get your sleep cycle back. Until I come back, and then it'll be broken again, obviously. Okay, it's all of them. Yes, yeah, there's, there's actually an outside out there somewhere. Uh, there's a grand old place, really. Sure, they also got sulfur, they are. Um, but yeah, I, I go hiking every now and then. Uh, I think it's good to just reset the mind, body and soul and all that stuff. And it's not as actually uh, as scary as a lot of people think it is. But uh, I'm headed out of town quite some way. I'm about four hours out of town is where I'm going to. Um, so yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's not that bad. That bad. Uh, input, uh, left side, right side, that's why not. Let's do that. That into there. Ah, but too slow. And input priority on the left side. So we'll run this lane and this lane, lane through first. Okay, back into my car. Let's go. Stand up post, did you need any work done? Actually, you did. Oh, I just saved that one. I think that's all. That's all. Okay, see you soon. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm literally going to be pitching a tent and going rough for a few days. Uh, it was a really nice area. It's got a nice big lake. Um, and uh, it's also got uh, a whole bunch of hiking trails. Uh, hopefully the weather holds out. It's supposed to be a bit rough there for a few days. Uh, I'm going away for three. Um, I'm hoping that uh, <laughs> I have at least a couple of days there. It's nice and sunny and stuff. Uh, hopefully I'll get weather like today actually. Today's weather is amazing here. Alright, cool. Good enough. But yeah, I, I'm looking forward to uh, getting this base back up and running. When I get back from my hike, I'm going to be uh, fully recharged and reset and ready to go. Uh, hopefully I just don't lose the momentum. That's my only concern right now. Um, I was saying earlier, Con, I don't think you were uh, watching at that time. I think you were playing EU. Um, but I'm going to uh, kind of dedicate a stream where I just go out and I'm just going to be biter battling the entire stream. Uh, I will have it as the same um, type of title as Mecha Base, but I'll have a subheading of uh, uh, clearing the world or something along those lines, where I literally just go out and just keep pushing the boundaries as far as I can possibly go. Not triggered. I'm watching down here to see if I get attacked. Um... So yeah, I'll, I'll go out and clear as much of the uh, the landscape as I can. I'll uh, I'll premise it like a day or two before, where I'll just uh, get a whole bunch of nukes prepared, take out like half of an inventory full of nukes. Uh, I'll have a spare power armor, a vehicle. Um, what else will I need? Rocket launcher for sure. Uh, things that I'll need in case I things go south and I need to go recover my body. Um, but I'll have uh, I'll have to do it at some stage. So, all right, here's the base that killed me twice.
oh, freedom will be spread. Except for I'm not American, so I'm not really into that sort of freedom, freedom warrior stuff. Uh, fish I'll keep. Laser dice drop. Couple capsules, not very many, but I've got a couple. Robos I'll drop off into my car. I've got another car over here somewhere as well. I've got this ammo still. In there. Uh, cheap items that I can exchange robos for. One power pole. Uh, blue circuits for... Eight offshore pumps. And that's really valuable in here. Not really. Okay. Thanks, auto save. That's a that's like a bad omen right from the start. You get an auto save just before you go buy the battling. Ten nukes. See ya. See ya. Oh, they hurt. A damn spit. Get caught up with those behemoth spitters, and uh, they're no joke. But when they do a derp, when you're here, you're running up here, and they are over here, and they fire this way. <laughs> what? Well, hey, buddy, you get stuck in the trees. Bye bye. And five webs left. Dun, 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 dun. Missed. Revenge. Oops, that one. Delete. Oh, there's my other card down there. Revenge taken off the list. I'm happy now. Uh, east wall is defended. Taken off the list. Uh, these two things will be on the list for two days, but I'm not going to get to it. I've got less than, no, I've got 20 minutes left of the stream. Uh, defense wall in west. Mm, could put it in here. Uh, they did make biters a lot harder to deal with. I have to, oh, d absolutely. From uh, version 16 biters to these ones, there's no comparison. 17 biters are no joke. That's a lot of trees. A lot of trees. Uh, frozen. More trees than I would have wanted to take care of, to be honest. But it will mean that uh, the biters will have a hard time passing through it if they do decide to come down and attack. I'm just worried that that could be in spit range. I think it is. Uh, I needed more walls. I'm gonna need a lot more walls. You wanna see that uh, car of walls over con? Oh, I gladly accept them now. Actually, I got my blueprint still. Ha ha. I should actually put a substation in the blueprint. Right there. That way when I go back to the base I'll run a power line all the way back. And uh, then the wall will be finalised. Um, oh, I'm going, I'm going to be, uh, but I think I don't have enough supply anyway, I'm already out of wool. <laughs> I've got 12 lasers left, uh, and I'll probably run out of substations by the end of it. Um, yeah, so yeah, obviously I'm going to run out of, run out of all the supplies. There's the stack. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, I wanted a smaller blueprint because uh, sometimes it's easier to um, uh, when you're getting around corners and stuff. I'm hoping. Yeah, it's going to go down to about here. That'll be a good chunk of expansion space to do, to go through. Trees and rocks. Might as well have my bots doing something, because uh, I can't really build much of this. Yeah, I still don't understand that. I had four. What was my outpost? My oil outposting. I could have sworn I put change these around. I had substations in there. Oh, what was there? Alright, oh, substation. Dum 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 dum. Boom 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 boom. More trees. Uh, yeah, I went out, um, got a whole bunch of trees, cut them all down, uh, and was turning them into the wood boxes. So I had to order trash my wood boxes, and my entire trash was full, my entire inventory was full, and I had a car full. It was uh, kind of nutty. I'd never seen so much wood in a person's inventory. Wood walls, I wish. For the starting game, I think that would be really good. Um, but I want a way to automate wood collection. I am appalled that you can mine for resources, you can um, do oil outposts, but you can't do automatic wood collecting. Uh, you should have a little wood harvester that just goes out and grabs trees and brings it back. Um, it wouldn't be super fast, it wouldn't be hard, difficult, it's kind of like uh, AAI, the mod. Um, I, I think that's how it should be done. Uh, I don't think you should have to go and hand chop a tree or wait till you get bots and then use bots to deconstruct a tree. It's so tedious and manual. For a game about automation, um, having that the way you get wood, like obviously the wood's not a late game product, um, but it should be... It shouldn't be the way it is. Yeah, I think there should be more wood-based products in the game, because there's so many trees. Like, I don't think anyone can tell me that they don't have enough, in any map that they play, enough trees. Oh, no, take that back. There's a <laughs> there's a couple of maps that they don't give you trees. So take that back. But, like, sort of choppy. I think you know, the, game, the, the mod choppy, or the scenario choppy, where it's literally just a full forest of trees. You've got to cut through trees to find any other resources, and resources are in trees and rocks and stuff. Those sorts of things there, you, know, you get enough tech, you automate that process. So it kind of defeats the purpose of um, having the scenario where you, you know it's a difficult task of getting chopping down all the trees. But at the same time, um, it's not like overpowered or anything. And the AAI component of it, they would uh, you'd have to defend your little uh, miners or harvesters because otherwise when the biters spawn because the biters spawn in the forest you lose your little harvester so let's put a, a pretty hefty cost on the harvester to get it and then you want it, you have to protect it so 
then you can have um, AAI versioned um, uh, little protective vehicles that go out with it so you have a little squadron like so much so much potential uh, use wood to transform it into coal absolutely um, you know natural refining it, it, it should be a thing I want it as a thing um, but yeah absolutely you know, natural natural gas natural refining um, that's something that should be done and easily sh should be easy oh, it's not for easy for me but for someone I'm sure who's got the ability that should be an easy task okay so that's the northern uh, northwest I'm gonna do the southwest let's go down and kill the biters first it would solve a lot of issues for planning a base out Oh, oh wait, I missed something there, didn't I? Uh, or some kind of, uh, yeah, um, no, you can rely early on wood, oil and such. Yeah, absolutely. you got to have a balance, though. I think it should be more of a late game uh, iteration. So it's more um, mid to late game going to harvest. Like, I think you should start the game having to hand, hand cut trees to get your refineries and your smelters up and running. But think... Of most starting games, when you hand hand chop trees to start a smelter uh, or a an early burner miner, within five ten minutes you've got enough coal t from those uh, early miners. Um, so it's not really a an issue there. Um, so it should be I think it's a mid to late game. Um, I'm gonna just tap that into the into the um, train line. I think. Oh come on! You can't so reach. Don't do it there. Screw it. I was going for nice straight lines. Now I can't be bothered. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, we we'll give we'll definitely give you time to design your base. Um, work out what you want to do and how you want to do it. Can I connect? It did connect. Good. And I have apparently a lot of rails still on me. Must have, my last thought must have been we need to design more rails, build more rails out. Must have been a while ago because I didn't don't have the uh, destroy the uh, cliff command out yet. Power. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, I have a hundred and seventy oil in the uh, network. Thanks, Pavel. Uh, where's that first car? There, and I picked up the other one, didn't I? Yes. Uh, I can't do it to myself. I have to. <laughs> I can't. Can I do it, Captain? Um, we'll leave the other car, we'll go kill this other base. Oh. Alright, texting and driving, don't do it kids. Uh, I need to get cliff explosives, it would open my base up even more, absolutely it would. Um, I wish you could get explosives a little sooner than you can. Um, it seems to be, for me, hidden behind a couple too many um, researchers, especially considering um, you can get grenades, and I think uh, grenades should damage cliffs. It shouldn't kill them in one hit, but I think a grenade should, maybe five grenades into a cliff, and that should uh, destroy it. So it's a a hefty cost to pay but at least you have an early game way of getting rid of of the cliffs uh, like the, the ex explosive itself isn't too bad it's just the uh, the research to get it is what I, what I find the problem like uh, uh where is it there 
close explosive, 10 explosive, an empty barrel, and a grenade. Like, it uses one grenade, and then ex a barrel of explosives, basically. <laughs> Like here, here's a grenade, put it in this barrel of explosives, and then throw it. Uh, I don't like how these bodies ran away, I don't want them to run at my base. They ran over by my car, get away from here. Um, yeah. Uh, you saw my base at the beginning, uh, how many cliffs I had around. Ow, 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 fish. I can't, <laughs> can't click fast enough. Uh, it's okay. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> uh, tab. Tab runs through your toolbar. Only bad thing about that is I'm going to get inundated with all these bots giving me all the inventory that I've already got on my body. That's the worst part. I wish you had a button that if you die, this gets turned off. And then you have to manually, like, left click on it changes the value. You should be able to, like, middle mouse button to clear it, like you clear this. So middle mouse on the robot port clears the robot port. You should be able to middle mouse on this to clear it, rather than right click on it to clear it. And then right click would actually turn the item on and off. See how it's highlighted? That should be an on symbol. So only the on symbols would have... Um, would be then reintroduced to you. Uh, I think that would be a, a good way of doing it. Uh, can I get a single car please, base? Car is delivered. Off your go. Get away from these crazy bots. I mean, deaths are inevitable. They're gonna happen. God, look how dark it is. Um, I've derped again. But I don't want to admit that I've derped again. Incoming train. <laughs> Let's see, can you work out what I've done as a derp with their con? I've done one pretty major derp right now. <laughs> Is that a dip you think? Um, well, I'll be logging out of here in five minutes. So I just want to recover my body, finish off that one base. The derp I've done is I throw away my pistol. I have nukes, but I have no rocket launcher. I'm hoping... Nope, I don't have a single piece of ammo. I guess I could do that. A bit of that. Actually, if I save... On that, get more ammo I can put in the car. No rocket launcher, no ammo. Drip, <laughs> drip, 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 drip. Is that a live biter? It is a live biter. So see, okay. And I'm auto decontrashing uh, all my ammo. Some, oh, cool. Okay, I might be okay. I might be okay. It's not all lost yet. Okay, in there. Try to start off with that and these. Alright, get in there. Only freaking four worms, are you kidding? 
And we win. <laughs> ah, biters suck it. Uh, power armor first. Yep, yep, that's what I thought. Full inventory. Um, all rails. Lots of inserters. Yes, pipes, lots of power piles. <sighs> boom, 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 boom. Come on, explode. I can do it when I watch it, are you? Yeah. That one, that one, that one. Get rid of that goddamn single. One single wooden power pole I keep on carrying around with me. Got my body. Can you teach me proactiveness? Probably. But hey, I cleared out there by space that I wanted to clear out. Um uh, what am I doing? I'm literally picking up the car that I just dropped all the stuff off into. It's all good. That's right, I forgot about him. I meant to come up here and pick up this car. Okay. All wood. All wood. Alright. And let's build the wall here. -ish. Let's put lasers on the robos. Thankfully, I didn't lose my robos. Uh, let's go out as far as I can, I think. South. Uh, iron. Kind of want to go out right over past that iron, but I don't think I'm going to like the idea of going past uh, at those biters. So let's put it here. Sacrifice a little bit of the wall. And that, unfortunately, I've got six minutes to go to a birthday party. So that is unfortunately where I'm going to have to end it. But uh, it's been fun. It's been a blast. Um, literally, as I'm blasting cliff explosives away um it's been a lot of fun uh i'll move this wall eventually when i uh, do my my full push at the biters um uh, but it's been a lot of fun uh thank you again for all the support I had a few new faces today uh that was a two and a half hour uh, short stream i will be back i will be back tonight uh never fear uh i i don't have an exact time as to when i'll be back on but i'm estimating uh about 10 11 o'clock my time uh, it would be probably a short stream it won't be a, a super late one tonight uh, as I said I'm out of town for a few days so I will uh, be uh, have to pack still uh, from now back online about four hours uh, no sorry no 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 yeah yeah about, about four hours uh, you get notified I'll uh, put a notification out um, just to make sure if things are going are okay but uh yeah i'll leave it here thank you again for coming along guys uh i'll be probably streaming for about four hours as well so you can have an extra couple of minutes of sleep uh i mean unless you want to come and you know maybe kill a biter or a million <laughs> uh which you can have more than welcome to do as well um but yeah it's been a lot of fun and uh i will uh, uh oh hold on ah oh, it's the south South wall. Oh, they are pushing. Okay, cool. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this. They can kill my wall. Uh, I'll keep my robots on. Because otherwise they... Uh... They pushed on my wall because I killed the entire base. Okay, that thing, that's pretty fair, don't you think? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'll leave it right here. This we will restart later on. 
Okay, everyone, thank you so much. And uh, I'll catch you in a few hours' time. Uh, no hosts, I'm just going to end it on this one. Thanks, Con. Uh, birthday party, so it should be good fun. But uh, thank you, guys. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.